everybody. In a previous video, I showed you how to make a boost leak tester using a PVC end cap and a Schrader valve. In today's video, I'll be using that to diagnose a boost leak on my Volkswagen 1.8T. Even though what I'm working on today is unique to a Mark IV, the idea behind it can be used on any turbocharged engine. If you have any questions or comments regarding whatever engine you may be working on, whether it be a Volkswagen or otherwise, please leave it below and hopefully I can help you out and restore your car to full boost. Thanks for watching. Here's what I used. The PVC end cap will be attached to the intake. So the outside diameter of the PVC has to match the inside diameter of your intake. The plug is for use on a 1.8T, so you can block off the crankcase breather lines and not have pressure entering your engine backwards. Assorted screwdrivers, pliers, and a compressor or bike pump. I'm starting with the intake and PCV lines already removed. If you have any questions about removal of those two items, please comment below. Using the PVC plug, block off the spot on the intake where the hockey puck normally goes. I had unplugged my N75 valve to get easy access to the hockey puck, so if you did the same, plug that back in now. Using the boost leak tester I showed you how to build in a previous video, attach that to your intake now. Now this is best if you have a second person to help you. Since I don't have a compressor, I used a bike pump. So I had one person operate the bike pump while I looked around the engine bay for boost leaks. In the video you can hear my boost leak. What it ended up being was the fuel pressure line that runs from the intake manifold to the fuel pressure regulator. The OEM line is fabric braided rubber so it will absolutely crack and dry rot with age. It's a pretty straightforward replacement but if you have any questions or comments please leave them below. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your restored boost.